When they were on the cart, Mindy's group was trying to spot rock lizards. Claire thought to herself, the difference now is how it feels like they're taking it more seriously instead of just passively sitting there and trying to spot threats. The feeling Claire got was similar to how a student working in a group would behave differently based on how serious they were about the class. If a student was just trying to barely pass, then they tend to just do the bare minimum and getting them to do anything more feels like a large chore. But if the student is someone that's motivated to perform well in the class, they often are more proactive about completing the project in a way that will get the group a high grade. Thinking about the new adventures compared to classmates she had dealt with in school was like something clicking into place in her mind. The teacher would often say that it's important to take what we learned during the class and apply it to the real world. But I didn't completely understand it. But now, I think I finally understand what they were saying. Claire internally grinned, feeling as though she'd accomplished something important. Turning her head to check ahead of them, Claire noticed something unexpected. What's that? Hannah asked next to her, spotting the same thing that Claire noticed. It was a small tower, about two people tall. There was a platform with a small roof. Holding a laser rifle, an adventurer was watching them as they made their way up the path. The Catwoman sighed in relief. That's one of the adventurers that's hired by our organization to help with security, she explained raising a hand to wave at the adventurer. Seeming to recognize the worker, the adventurer waved the hand back. Then the adventurer turned to face the other way and used some type of horn. She is signaling to the other adventurers that we are coming up the path, the worker explained. Abby looked at the tower with the adventurer and then asked, I didn't realize that you had more adventurers at the mine. Turning her head to look at Abby, the worker nodded. Both of your groups are meant to just keep the cart safe. These adventurers are hired by the organization to keep the people in the mine safe. Drugging. They're more expensive than what we use to secure the carts. But on the other hand, these adventurers stay in this area for weeks at a time. Hearing how long these adventurers stayed near the mine, Abby raised her eyebrows in surprise. Why so long? Claire asked. Her eyes checked out the adventurer as he got close to the tower. Compared to them, the adventurer had metal armor which had several scratches on the surface. Even the weapon used looked to be more powerful compared to what Claire and her group was using. In addition, the woman had a helmet, her long hair cascading down her back in curls. Watching the woman, Claire had a feeling like she'd seen what meant to be a professional adventurer. There was definitely a feeling of competency. Even though the adventurer wasn't looking directly at her, Claire felt as though the woman knew that Claire was checking her out. Even Chelsea doesn't give off such a presence, though she's someone who is trained to handle other military people in case someone commits a crime. Claire thought to herself, I guess we all still have a long way to go before we can be like that, she sighed. Passing by the tower, it wasn't long before they were able to see the mine. There were numerous sheds organized on one side though the area looked empty and devoid of people. As she looked to the other side, Claire noticed people moving about with a thick pole on one shoulder. On either end of the pole were buckets. This place is busy, Bill was heard stating the obvious. Nodding, the worker said, the miners are paid based on how much they bring out of the mine, so they tend to work very hard. But to make sure they don't overwork themselves, the mine will be closing soon. 
Even though this is a fancy environment, it's still strange to hear that. Abby commented softly. <laughs>